from what we know about other coronaviruses that infect humans and infect and that infect animals, we know that immunity isn't very long lived. So I think it probably is likely that if somebody's been infected, they will be able to be reinfected in the future. We don't know at what interval yet, possibly a number of years. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. So this is a vaccine you'd have to use again. You'd have, to, as it were, like a flu vaccine, you'd have to go every winter and get it again, probably. Well, there's a difference between um, immunity acquired after natural infection and immunity acquired after vaccination. They're not necessarily the same thing. The, the coronavirus itself is very good at um, not leaving a very strong immune memory behind it. That's why people get reinfected. But we're not using the coronavirus itself as the vaccine. We're using a different virus to make a vaccine. And with the adenovirus that we use to make the vaccine, you get strong immune responses and they stay at a high level for a long period of time. So we could be in a situation which would be very fortunate. We could find that the vaccine-induced immunity lasts a lot longer than the infection-induced immunity. How long do you think, maybe this is an impossible question, how long do you think the vaccine-induced immunity might last? Well, it is an impossible question. What we've done Sorry. in clinical trials of our MERS coronavirus vaccine, though, is looked at people's immune responses a year after we vaccinated them, and they're still very strong then. Now, we don't know how strong they need to be to protect people from infection. So there's a lot still to know. But uh, we do know that we, with vaccination, we get immune responses that, that are there at a good, strong level for at least a year.